Hey, Kevin, what are you doing? Where'd you get this antique? Oh, my God. I got some stuff to bolt together, so I was hoping I could find eight nuts and bolts in here that were at least sort of the right size. That seems to be and an issue, doesn't it? It's, ma'am, I tell you. I don't even know what that is. Well, what kind of uh, bolt do you want to use? I don't know, man, a bolt. A bolt with a nut, with a washer. Okay. Well, why do you want to use that? That particular one? Well, hey, I'll tell you what. Let's look and see what you got through here, and we'll go from there. Okay, How about that? Okay. What do we got? You All got... I want to do is drill some holes and bolt two pieces of steel together. Okay, that sounds great. But i got to find something to have threads that go all the way to the end. Yeah, that might help. And that, that would help. So, so what do you use? That's what, really what do you use? Yeah, okay, well, that's pretty simply done. And in all honesty, for most of us that go to the hardware store, no. it's real easy just to get a simple hex head screw. Um, right. I would recommend getting a coarse thread. It's a little easier to work with, a lot easier on you, on the pieces that you're working on. But everything has an application. Sometimes yeah. it's not always easy to use that, and I see you've got a couple other things here. Yeah. Looks like this nut might actually go with that particular bolt, but you've also got, if you come in here for a second, you can see this different one. This is called a socket head cap screw, and this uses a socket head as opposed to a hex head, so you need an Allen wrench for that. Huh. That's another one to use. They also make it in a flat head, which also utilizes the Allen screw as well. Huh. Another good choice. So you can hide it. Sure, so you can hide it and use a different tool so you can sink it down into whatever you're utilizing. Oh. But again, I would stick with just a regular good old fashioned hex head. Another bolt that we use a lot is a shoulder bolt. We use that a little bit more in the machine shop industry. Oh. But it's just something when you see at your local hardware store and you're wondering, now what is that for? Well, commonly what we'll do is we'll make a specific size size of a part that this will fit into. In an example, this is one inches, so we would have another piece of one inch that this would slide into. Huh, okay. So when you tighten this up, what it would allow it to do is actually spin. The piece that you're attaching that piece there you're spin attaching. on the bolt. Exactly. Huh. Exactly. Oh, exactly. It's like a barrack. Yeah, very much like one. Cool. Very cool to have. Cool. What else have we so, got? So I saw these little notches on here. What do those mean? Can you Can show them to us, Cap? Sure. Do, see these? Little little notches on the top, you know. And some of them have writing on them and numbers on them. And what does all that mean? Well, know? they mean a lot of different things, and it really depends on who actually manufactured yeah. that particular fastener. Sometimes they mean the grade. Yeah. Sometimes they just mean who made it because yeah. they're proud of what they do. And of course, it also means a lot of other different specifications for ANSI products. So it really depends on what you pick up and what you find. And in that old antique bucket, who knows what you're <laughs> going to find fine. in there? And you got that right. So. So it, you said grade. Is, is that the grade 8 I keep hearing about? Yeah, it goes from 1 to 8, and that just goes to your tensile strength, how much pressure you're going to put on oh, whatever you're using. Okay. You know, if you want to put it on a car or something like that, like on a lug nut, you're not going to want something that's just going to pop off. If you're yeah. putting it on, say, your compressor or yeah. something around a garden, you know, you don't need that tensile strength. Yeah. Oh, that be darn. Huh. Okay. Well, I'm going to go throw this in the scrap pile. Please. Go buy a box of bowls. There you go. I'll see you later. All right, right. we'll talk to you later.